Howdy y'all and welcome to Craters Gaming. Today we're going to be making some docks or piers or however you want to say it out of some cupcake trash, some foam core, and some dowel rods. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm just going to show you the layout of everything that I'll be using anywhere from scrap foam board that was destined to the trash because it got a little smashed, cupcake box, glue gun, dowel rods, and of course some turf. I'm going to go ahead and cut the dowel rods to size. Be careful uh, because you will be using sharp instruments. I do measure out how big my pieces are because I want them to fit on the board right. And I want to be able to cut my foam core to size. And yes, before somebody calls me out on it, that is a fabric cutter, but it works just as good on the foam core. For this step, I like to use a ballpoint pen and a ruler. That way I make sure my planks are the right size. And I'm just going to measure them out roughly about a centimeter apart and draw the planks. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my cutter to make the, the lines a little deeper. That way it has a little bit more flexibility and it doesn't bow later. Which in all honesty, we're using hot glue so there shouldn't be much bowing to begin with depending on how much glue you use to put on your flocking. I also want a couple of the boards just floating around just to make it look a little different. Step, I'm just gonna lightly draw with the ballpoint pen the wood grain, and once I do the painting, it really pops. It looks way better at the end, so just trust the process. And if you like what we do here at Craters Gaming, you can buy us a coffee. It helps pay for materials that we need to make our crafts. Or if you just want to shout out, this is also another good way to do so. All right, everything cut out and drawn on the way we like it. We're going to go ahead and start hot gluing them onto the cardboard cupcake box. I prefer to use the cupcake box because it's a little thinner and it doesn't have too much of a lip. With the added bonus of I didn't have to pay a whole lot for it, just the cupcakes, which were the bonus. And then I have crafting materials on top of that. <laughs> This one's just going to be a broken piece of the dock. Um, it doesn't have to be completely uniform because I'm going to be gluing the boards on willy-nilly, so it's not going to be the same. Now for the cut-up dowel rods, we're going to have our posts that are coming up where you can either use it as a hitch and tie up a small string to make it look like it has ropes going through for safety reasons. And remember, it does not have to be fancy, it's just to make it look more functional. I went ahead and basted it in Apple Barrel Black, and I am going to dry brush it in some of that brown acrylic paint. Um, make sure that it's not the shiny one, that it's the matte finish, because you don't want this to be too shiny. And if you apply it too heavily like I tend to do, don't fret. You can always use an ink wash at the end and it really brings out those details at the end anyway. For this step, we're going to go ahead and go over it in a matte khaki color. And again, this is still the cheap Apple Barrel acrylic paint. Jumping ahead, I am going to go ahead and apply some of the PVA glue where I can put some of the turf down to make it look like it's really nasty and old. I'm trying to hit it on the edges where the moss and the mold would naturally form, uh, make it look a little bit more realistic. I did think about adding some sand and rock, but changed my mind because it doesn't need to be too gritty for what I have in store for it. I am using a dampened paintbrush to help spread it around where I want the mold and the moss to grow. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my turf. Uh, this is just the brown and green mixture that I usually use. I really like how it looks. I may later go over it with a little bit darker green just to make it pop. And there you have the finished product. I really like how this turned out, especially with my pirate skeletons. <laughs> and of course you gotta have sharks too, right? There you have it. Super easy, super quick. If you like the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Also share the channel. It helps out a whole lot. And I hope to see y'all again next week. Bye.